My name is Tim Snyder. I'm the curator of birds and reptiles for the Chicago Zoological Society at Brookfield Zoo. I'm happy to announce that on March 9th, Brookfield Zoo hatched its 53rd Micronesian Kingfisher chick. I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you how we are caring for this chick whose species is extinct in the wild because of the unintentional introduction of the brown tree snake on its native island of Guam. When this chick hatched, the animal program staff made the decision to hand rear it. This was because the parents had laid a total of two eggs and it is very unusual for the species to raise more than one chick at a time. By hand rearing one of the chicks and having the parents raise the other, we increase the chance of survival for both chicks. This chick is doing really well under the professional care of our trained keeper staff. It gets fed several times a day with a diet that includes a variety of insects and other small prey. The chick's eyes won't open till it's around 12 days old. Because it can't see right away, at feeding time, keepers touch the side of its beak to let it know its meal is ready, much like the parents do. It is weighed daily so staff can monitor its growth. This serves as a reference for how much food it should be receiving at each feeding in order to make sure that it's within a healthy weight range. Micronesian kingfishers typically fledge when they are 30 days old. They stay with the parents for a couple of additional weeks before they leave to find their own territory. It's hoped that one day we'll be able to reintroduce this species back into the wild.